You've heard of punch art. What about framelits art? I'm making strawberries with framelit dyes to fill my berry basket made with the berry basket bigs dye for a sweet summer card. Come and watch. We're going to need a basket to hold all of our strawberry framelits dye art. So I have here the berry basket bigs dye and a five and a half by eight and a half sheet of crumb cake cardstock. And it covers the whole dye. And I'm going to feed it through my big shot die cutting machine. So push it so it catches. There we go. And feed it through. Welcome to StampingSmiles.com. I'm Shelly Godby, the owner and CEO of Stamping Smiles. And for 14 years, I've been teaching others how to create their own hand stamp smiles. So we're not building a 3D basket this time. So I'll show you how to put this together so it'll look fantastic on our card. I'm so excited to show you how easy it is to make my strawberry frameless die art. But first I want to show you how to make this basket look attractive for the front of a card. And so we have this crease line and I want to trim it off right there. Normally I'd have you butt it up against this stop to make sure it was straight, but the side is an angle so that won't work. So what we're going to do is just step down a little bit and put this crease line in the cutting track. Okay, that's looking pretty good. I'm, I'm lining up both of those. Put this down and we're going to lock it. And then we're going to step over here and make sure it's lined up. And I'm not quite lined up because this would be straight along this line. We're going to use this guideline. Now that's looking really good. And so now we can cut it. Let's go back through. Oh, fantastic. So now we have a nice straight cut. Now I'm going to set this aside and I will use my paper snips from here. What I want to do is cut it. We've got a crease line here, so I want to trim it right there, and this is going to be the perfect size. And then there's another crease for a fold. There we go. And trim this. That little bit I can cut right. Isn't that looking good? But we're not quite done because we need um, a piece along the bottom to feel to look finished. So we're just going to take it from here. Let's just cut off. We can get two out of every one of those, so I'm good. I've over cut this. All right, and that'll go underneath the bottom. So before I start adhering anything, I have the Crumb Cake Classic Stampin' Pad and a sponge dauber. I wanted this to stand out a little bit from my basket. So I'm going to get some ink. I'm going to brush it along this edge. Pretty. Okay, that's going to look just so much better. That little bit. It's amazing how those little bits can really dress up a card. And so this, we'll go ahead and take our snail adhesive and adhere it to the top of our basket. Very nice. Let's get it centered. That looks good. And see, now it, it doesn't look complete, but it will in a second. That's some snail. I finger where those ridges are. And this will add to the bottom. Let's go to one side. Actually, I didn't cut so straight, so let's go off. Turn over, make sure I'm lined up. Okay, see now it fills this in and it looks more natural. And now at that angle, I'll use the side for a guide and we'll trim this off. Trim off those two ends. Now, isn't that looking so much nicer with that piece at the bottom? And then we have our pretty top. I need three strawberries to fill my berry basket. So look what I have here. This polka dot pattern. This is from the Brights Collection Designer Series Pack. Now this is retiring with the 2014-2015 Stampin' Up! catalog. So it's available now in my online store, but only while supplies last. And as great as that is, you're going to love what the strawberries are going to be made from. I have here this heart from the Hearts of Flutter uh, Framelits Collection. Isn't this great? And I'll tell you why. Not just the shape, but the scallops. Because strawberries aren't smooth. They're bumpy. This is going to be perfect. Now the Hearts of Flutter Framelits, again, they're retiring with the Stampin' Up! catalog. But I have some really, really good news. They are 50% off. Fantastic! So you'll want to get over to my online store, www.shopwithshelly.com, and get those right away before they get gone. And then I have some garden green cardstock, and just couldn't get over how perfect this little flower is from the flower frame framelits for our top. Um, I cut through two sheets without any trouble, and I'm just going to rotate that so I'm touching 
on the inside. That's the part that does the cutting. So now we're ready to die cut. Magnetic platform, cutting pad, our paper, our framelits, and then a cutting pad and feed this through. And I'm going to have to go through one more time because I need three of, actually I need four of the green tops and one more strawberry. And four pieces I think would be way too much for a framelit, but I'm able to successfully go through two sheets, you see. Let's see if I pull back, you can. I'm able to successfully easily cut two sheets of cardstock with the framelits. And then we've got our two strawberries. Look how perfect these are for the top of our strawberries. So just a little bit of snail adhesive. And we've got that cute as all get out. And great with our scallops. So um, this one is going to go on the outside. The other two will go in. These are big strawberries. We went to California. My goodness, they did. They had strawberries that were about the size of my hand. And so this is, must be a pint <laughs> berry basket. And strawberries kind of, they don't sit on their point. They lay down. So we're going to set it like this. But instead of filling it with a, a whole strawberry like this on the inside, let's just take a smaller piece that we had left over. Put some adhesive on the back so we didn't need to cover that whole thing. And then we want to rotate it where they're not perfectly in line, you know, coming through the holes. That would look odd. So let's just rotate it and catch part of, oh, that's looking pretty good. Whoops, it attached. Imagine that. I've got adhesive. <laughs> okay, let me see. Yeah, at this angle is much, much better that there's some peeking through, and like I said, not a straight up and down row. So that means I just need to trim this a little bit. We don't want it peeking out the bottom. And so then we'll go ahead and put the rest of the strawberries in. Let me show you the finished card. And here's my finished sweet summer card. Isn't this adorable? So let me quickly tell you how I finished it. The berry basket, I attached that with Stampin' Dimensionals, but I had to stack them too deep. And that's because this strawberry, well, I attached that with Stampin' Dimensionals. Because when I laid it flat, just like this one, they just kind of melded in together. So that let it distinguish itself from the other. And of course, dimension's always a great way to step up a card. And then my greeting, how stinking cute is this? It's a flower pick from the From the Garden stamp set. And then I die cut it with the hand-picked framelits. So, so cute. So, okay. Things are urgent because they're while supplies last. And that'll be the Brights Collection. Uh, Bright's Collection Designer Series Paper Stack, available only while supplies last, and the Hearts of Flutter Framelits dies, and at 50% off, woohoo, while supplies last, and they could run out anytime. So get on over to my online store, www.shopwithshelly.com, and get all the retiring products you want from the 2014-2015 Stampin' Up! catalog before they get gone. I'm Shelly Godby, teaching you how to create hand stamp smiles. Thanks for watching.